You could go earlier than that. Johnny's desire to go to the moon might need this, some stimulation to be brought up, huh? Well then. What the? This wasn't what they said was playing. Oh well. Do you mind, River? No. I like this one. Alright, let's go then. Hopefully that's enough for an ignition. Wait, where's- where's Neil? Is he gonna be in the theater, enjoying the show? Oh, nope, he's not here. To the moon, darling. Ew, Henry. <laughs> Dear lord, I'm way too tired and hungry to be constructing movies. Guess I should see if anything's changed with John. Okay. Sorry for making you sit through this, buddy. To the moon. Where is Neil? All the same. I'll have to try igniting it somewhere else then. This is ridiculous. L Lily? Sorry. <laughs> Made your friend disappear. Perhaps something here could work. There's gotta be some. So, did she throw an encyclopedia in your face, huh? Did she? Shut up, dude. What are you guys doing here? It's starting. Let's go get a good spot. Wait. I don't remember that happening. Something must have changed. I don't remember that happening either. Where are you guys- What you doing? Hey, don't squeeze. Everyone okay? Is there a rally going on? Wait a minute. This isn't a real change, this is... May I have your attention please? Oh, good. Found him! As you know, I am a representative sent from NASA in all its glory. And I'm here to tell you all about it. Hit it, Tommy! Good job, Tommy. Well, that was terrible. But I digress. Anyways, I know that many of you are wondering. What chances do I have of doing so something as awesome as adventuring in another realm? To inhale the sweetness of Venus, to swim counterclockwise through the rings of Saturn. Or, perhaps, just chilling at the backside of the moon? Well, here at NASA, we believe that with enough will, everyone has potential. It could be you! Or you! Or perhaps... You! But I don't really want to go to the moon. Then you're in luck. Wait, what? Why not? Why should I? I'm happy here on Earth as it is. Well, don't you want to go even a little bit? No. Why? Not even a tiny bit? Um, no. Well, as an official NASA recruiter, I shall go over some facts about the moon. To start off with, the moon is 4.5 billion years old. And did you know that its surface is about as big as Africa? I didn't. It's true. In fact, if you try to bike around the moon... Also, it takes 1.5247 seconds for light to travel to the moon from here. And if you drive a flying car, it takes 130 days. I knew that. 
<laughs> and last but not least, people who go to the moon get rich and famous. We all know that rich plus famous equals groupies. So, that concludes my presentation. Remember, NASA welcomes any of you, especially if you're a brunette. <laughs> Genius, Neil. I'm- that would have sold me. I mean, after that presentation, who wouldn't have wanted to go? Well, what did you think? NASA probably wouldn't hire you, but I suppose it was blatant enough for this. Huh, I do try pretty hard. Are you gonna go see if it worked? Of course. You're right back. Back. Report. Utter failure. Deuce. Hey, don't get discouraged. I'm sure there are still things to be done. Such as? Well... Uh-oh. Doesn't sound good. Again. We can't afford to finish building this house, Isabel. We can barely afford to pay for a treat. But you can afford the Lunar Trip Lottery. If you sell this house, you sure can. Is the diagnosis certain? Yes. In fact, we were... Did you know that NASA has excellent health care plans? It's true, for both of you and your spouse. They're not married yet. Free pony rides in space! You guys are getting pretty desperate, aren't you? Oh look, a wedding, good for you. But here's a riddle. Guess where you should go for your honeymoon? Did it work? River? <laughs> you tried. Dagnabic glass slippery. Johnny? J John? What the cucumber? You know what? This just isn't working. It's more than just not working, it's ridiculous. We're freaking for professionals. I didn't sign up for the job to run around yelling at him like an idiot. You didn't? Look, maybe this lack of sleep's getting on us. Getting to us, sorry. Had I known that we'd be an all-nighter, I would have brought coffee. I agree. You should have seen the movie I constructed earlier. What movie? Exactly. Anyway, as valuable as time is here, this just isn't going anywhere like this. Let's take a break till morning. Hopefully Johnny can hang on till then. I do have some calls to make. Such as... It just doesn't make any sense. Why did the machine have no effect? Johnny's registered wish was to go to the moon. Uh, registered wish to go to the moon was successfully transferred, yet... There wasn't even a trace of him wanting to go to the moon after the transfer. Unless... Unless the secondary condition for the desire was changed in the process. Only then would the same desire produce two different outcomes at two different points in time. There's no denying that River played an important role through it all. If there's anything that could have caused the core change, she would have to be the top suspect. But I'll... All things, what exactly caused it? River. Just what exactly did you do?
Interesting. Ah, sun's rising. We don't have much time left. I wonder if Neil came up with anything. Coffee, probably. Let's be honest. Are you saying... Uh... I don't, this probably is very not right, but like, would they have to get rid of some river somehow? Ah, uh, you smell that squirrel Neil ran over all- You can smell that squirrel Neil ran over all the way from here now. I'm guessing he would be upstairs. I hope Johnny's not dead. Hey. I- oh. How is John doing? Barely hanging on. What are you two doing? We just- we just couldn't make any progress. Y you'd be better soon. We don't have long. Or you better be soon. Sorry. If you're look- if you're looking for your colleague, I think he's in the kitchen. With the kid's candy cane. Huh. I should probably save, by the way. Actually, I shouldn't be playing longer, but I'm going to play longer because I want to. This is making me very interested. This is the bathroom, not the kitchen. Oh, I remember where the freaking kitchen is. Down here, in that door. Hey, dude. No, I understand that part, but... Okay, did you confirm it in his records? Why again was this information not available to us? Or the medical doctor, for that matter? Where did you get that coffee? Shh! Are you speaking with the headquarter? Yes, I'll fill you in after. Now, shh! Oh, I'm controlling. Okay. I thought I left this at Johnny's bed. Oh yeah, where'd you find that? I thought you shh me. Temporarily unshushed. Oh, I am- Oh, ain't I lucky. Well, I found that rabbit in the lighthouse last night. There are a bunch more of them in there. And in the basement, too. Ah. Huh. Alright, resume shing. The last paper rabbit River gave to John. Okay, what else am I doing then? I'm gonna leave him in the dark. Where's Lillian? Children. Sarah and Tommy, I think that's their names. Okay, maybe in here? Oh, hey! But Ma, I don't wanna go to school! It's Sunday, dear. <laughs> Shh, let them sleep. What happened there? What up with the... That's quite. The tale of a girl who fell in love with a zombie who emitted the smell of daisies when showered with gentle sunlight. Nah. Well, actually, maybe I... Oh, I guess. Uh, maybe another year. Sorry. Okay. Almost stepped on the paint. What a shame. Okay. Lily, you wanna you wanna talk? Hey, how's it going? Those two shouldn't have stayed up that late. But I should have watched them. Well, it's not an everyday circumstance. I know, but I'm just so exhausted. I'm sure you are even more so. I really need to take a seat. If there's anything you wanted to ask, let me sit down first. Have you sat down? Okay. 
Oh, was there something you wanted to ask? Um... Future? This is your full-time job, isn't it? What will you do when it's over? What else is there to do? Find a job in the city and live on, I suppose. It's a shame, though. I'm going to miss Johnny in this place. Maybe I'll come back and visit every once in a while. You know, it's pretty unusual for someone like you to work here. With two children and all, I mean. It's not that bad, really. There's a school bus that passes through here. But how did you even end up here? Well, a few years ago, my husband passed away. What happened? He was in the army. They were the last batch to be deployed overseas. Sorry to hear. I panicked. Our savings were low, and the job market was grim. Johnny saw my ad and offered me this job. I accepted with gratitude. This place was peaceful, too. It helped me with my grieving. Doesn't the government issue grants to war widows to help them get back on their feet? They do, and eventually I received aid. But by then, Johnny was starting to have trouble on his own. He needed my help. Tommy and Sarah liked this place too, and so we stayed. As for Johnny, he was glad as well. We're going to miss him. I think deep down, he really wanted a family. So what are you going to do to tell them about John? I... I don't know. I'll probably make something up, but it's no use. Kids are smart nowadays, they'll figure it out. Might as well. It's the nature of life, there's nothing to hide. Okay, let me go check out the piano. Oh, hey. Never mind. <laughs> Before Johnny fell unconscious, he told me that you two would probably be coming soon. He said that he probably wouldn't get a chance himself, but he wanted to tell he wanted me to tell you thanks for him. So, thank you. Just doing my job, yo. Alright. Oh. What kind of song is this? It's just two notes repeated over and over. That can still be a nice song. You're so negative. I guess I'll go see Neil again. Not that he had anything valuable to say before, but... I'll go again. Are you done yet? Huh. What is it? It seems like our little Johnny here has some hidden records from the old days. Hidden records? Hidden medical records, to be exact. Apparently, during his youth, he was administered, administered a large dose of enhanced beta blockers. And what luck! They tend to have this little side effect on a curious thing called memories. Beta blockers. Johnny didn't have a heart condition, did he? Apparently not. Which leads one to wonder if the side effects were intended to be merely just that to begin with. And in such a large amount. Its impact on his memories at the time of the administration must have been significant. You think that's what kept us out of his early memories? Well, it's not the machine, I'll tell you that. The maintenance department yelled at me for scolding them. So what now? I was just given the reconfiguration frequencies. They should get us past the blockers. And once we're in his childhood, he might finally be early enough to transfer his desire for it to work. And what are we waiting for? But just one thing. Of course, there's always that one thing. In order to activate the new frequencies, we'll need a trigger. A trigger? Something that exists strongly in the bridging access inaccessible memory. And we'll need to give it to John for him to stimulate his memory internally. But what do we know of that? We've only gotten a glimpse of his childhood memories. And even if we find a childhood photo or something, John's unconscious. Yeah, back to square one. You know, this job hasn't been such a pain in the ass for me since Nora's case last year. Likewise. 
This is killing me. I'm going out for some fresh air. Yep, oh, wait, ahem, forgot my coffee. Received a note for beta blocker. Huh. A drug with the side effect of dampening memories by interfering with stress hormones. Huh. Alright, well. That is where I'm going to leave it for today. I hope you enjoyed this part of To the Moon. I really did. It's getting more and more interesting with each episode, at least to me it is. And, um. I guess that next time we'll hopefully get to his childhood by finding some sort of trigger. I'm thinking it's going to be the platypus. But who knows. Um, I'll see you later. Happy day. Bye.